we have got set up for cotton candy making. Oh, we're, we're scooching mom from her spot. Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. Um, you could still sit at that end chair if you want because it's not a viewable in the camera. Okay, so this is a really awesome cotton candy maker that I uh, that we picked up at Walmart and it was under $40. <laughs> Great project with the kids, a lot, a lot of fun. Now, I started making sugar-free cotton candy before I actually went sugar-free. And the reason for that was because when we bought it and we started experimenting with cotton candy, I found that the sugar-free candies actually worked better in the machine and they gave you a lighter, fluffier cotton candy. So what we're going to use today is we are going to use Werther's Original No Sugar Added Candies. And actually, we can either do original or we can do the coffee flavor, but I'm figuring you would prefer the original. Mm -hmm. Original. So these ones are the No Sugar Added. You can tell it shows right on the label there. The and you can look them up. Better, sure. The age is 19 up. People like coffee. You heard it here first. Coffee, people 19 and up. Better for them. <laughs> or Better. 18. Or, or 18. 18. That's the legal age. If you can have vodka, coffee is for you. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Katie's the authority. Okay. My nickname's so. Katie Bear. My real name's Caitlin. But. See? Caitlin, a.k.a. Katie Bear. Everybody no. calls me Katie. <laughs> right? So, this is super easy. And what it does is it's got a heating element in the middle. And it spins around. And you literally put the candy in it and it will floss. So I'm going to show you how to do it the first couple because there's a little bit of a learning curve on how to get the cotton candy onto. But, but you we're don't want to touch here. that. No, you, you don't, don't want to touch, touch, touch it. You want to make sure you, it's super hot, like literally super hot. Just like put your oven? hand over the top so you can feel. Like <laughs> legit hot. It, it's quite warm. Um, these can be used with hard candies or they can also be used with floss candy which is just a larger grain of sugar. So I think in all honesty, if you wanted to try it at home, I almost would try making a colored um, ethanol blend or a monk fruit blend and try and see how the loose sugar works. But for today, we're just gonna use the hard candies because it's quick and easy. So you want to have one on either side. You want them to be fairly even while they're spinning in there. So I'm just gonna turn this off for a second. And it's on off switch there. That way I can pop them in one on either side and they'll be even where they should be. The other option is you can break them into little pieces of candy, but I'm lazy. <laughs> I, I, I can't lie. There isn't any better reason. There really isn't any better reason other than I just don't want to do that. So you can Ooh, see we've got sizzles. the candies there. It sizzles. Now we're going to turn this back on. Now as it heats up, and I might get mom to bring the camera over so we can kind of look in with it a little bit. Awesome. Okay, you can see it's starting to floss. So what you want to do is you want to catch the corner of the floss and then you want to spin. Okay, and it's kind of like a spider web. So first thing you want to do is scoop in that way and then you kind of roll across the top as it Flosses out. And that's all by a Werther's candy. That's all just by a sugar free Werther's candy. So you'll get to see how much cotton candy we get out of just two little candies. And it, we'll do a couple little batches. Okay, and you can see as it flosses, you just kind of turn it with the cone. You could probably put dyes in there too. You, you can. You can put whatever color dyes, whatever color candies. Now, while mom is right there where she can see, I'm going to take this candy and I'm going to pop it right in. And we're gonna, oh, oh, shoot. Want that out of there. Danger. Okay. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> you probably don't know that reference, do you? No. I don't even know if you know that reference. No. I'm old like that. I don't know. Does anybody know what Danger Will Robinson means? Add it in the comments. If you know what Danger Will Robinson means, I want to hear from you in the mm -hmm. comments because that means we can be friends. <laughs> long distance or not long? Or not. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you what Danger Will Robinson this is hard means to or film. if I should wait and see. I'm, I'm um, what you can do is if you want to just set it down on the table and then brace it back with the... There you go. If you want to grab me that container there and we'll just brace it up. 
There we go. Perfect. There we go. See, look at Mama's a pro already. I'm not I, a I've, I've done this like two times, mm -hmm. so I'm like practically an expert. I'm just putting that up there. Word. Word. Word to your mother. Okay. <laughs> My mother? Oh, I can't believe I said that. My kid will die. Like, actually die, though. If any of his friends watch this video. And by the way, he subscribes to my YouTube channel. So uh, he'll get the alert as soon as I as soon as soon I post this. So this is our first little bit of cotton candy. And I'm going to let Miss Katie try it and tell you guys what she thinks. And then we'll try a little bit more. And we'll try a couple flavors. I'm just going to wash my sticky fingers. Oh my goodness. What do you think? Mama has to taste it too. Does it actually taste like Werther's candy? Yeah, it does. It tastes like... A cloud. Like, like a cloud of Werther's oh. has come upon you to be your own best friend. That tastes right? so good. Shocking, yes? I'm shocked. I am shocked. And it is. It's so yummy. Thank you. I can't say no. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Like you get the caramel, mm -hmm. the sweet, the salty, all of those flavors as it melts. And it's almost like Werther's times 100 because it breaks down each of the flavors and I love it. That's it's my awesome. favorite. So the other ones we're going to try today, these are a Russell Stouffer, no sugar added candy. And we've got a couple different flavors in here. So I'm thinking we'll let Miss Katie pick two of whichever color you want. So we've got reds, we've got yellow, we've got green, we've got orange. So pick two of one color and that's the kind we'll make. This is lemon flavor. Yeah, those are lemon. This is um, orange flavor. Orange, lime, and I think we've got some strawberry is what the red ones are, I think. Strawberry. Strawberry? Is that our pick? Sure. Oh. Strawberry. So these ones are a little bit bigger candies. We're just going to pop one in here to try. And we're, we're doing an experiment together. Because although I've made cotton candy multiple times, this is my first time trying it with the Russell Stouffer candies in particular. Um, I only just found these ones. And um, you can get them at the diabetic section in Walmart. And I was really, really excited to find like an actual legit hard candy. Ooh, it's pink. Yeah, this one will be You're pink. You're gonna put it on the pink one, that's... Yeah, pink one for the pink stick. So same thing again, you kind of want to grab, and it's, it really is, it's, it's a learned art. Um, Al doesn't make it and Diana doesn't make it. I've been deemed the cotton candy maker for the house because it is, it is a little bit of a trick. So I wouldn't recommend doing this with little, little kids, toddlers, um, unless they're really good watchers and not so much with the fingers. Because if they're big in there with the fingers and they're touchy, touchy kids, you are running the risk that they might burn themselves. It does get quite hot. But I would say, in all honesty, for kids nine and up, depending on how responsible the kids are maybe a little bit younger i don't think i could have made this with my son until he was you know probably about eight or nine just because the fingers magoo, fingers magoo. <laughs> that's literally what i called him when he was little i was like whoa fingers magoo hands off <laughs> and everything was about the fingers this one is coming up really 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 nice check that out you can see it really nice in the video this one so sometimes your first batch doesn't come out quite as good and that's like anything else. You're doing pancakes, your first one's kind of a toss away. It's getting the heat right, getting the movement right. Um, I have not made cotton candy since the summer when Diana was visiting. So that's what, four or five months since I've made cotton candy the last time. So it does take, you know, just a little bit of getting used to again on how to get that going just right. But that, is the pink one and it's a bigger candy so there's it is a bigger candy out. yeah we got a lot more out of that was just one candy as opposed to the smaller blob we got out of blob that's the technical term i don't know if you know that <laughs> um, the, the bigger blob. blob we got out of that one so i'm just going to pull some of this off of here so that you can see that it is literally nice and light fluffy regular Thin. cotton candy like you would buy at the fair Give that one a try, Miss Katie, and see what you think. Katie Bear, taste for the mama. And I think this one's strawberry. So oh. I think we're tasting strawberry. What? Oh, I got one for me. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh yeah. my. Oh yeah. That one is like 
Oh, oh really? Nice. <laughs> that is super sweet. I that would is. say that in comparison to a regular cotton candy, I would say that at least two times as sweet. Oh, yeah. That is, that's so way, more than flavor. Natural candy. way more flavor. Like, I find with regular cotton candy, you get the fluffiness, but it really just tastes like sugar, not... A, yes, we can do orange, yes. We can. Well, I won't say no. Here, I'm going to hold that. And let's put in an orange candy. Because, yeah, I think the orange is going to be awesome. But it's guilt-free um, cotton candy. It is guilt-free cotton candy. Have you ever in your life had guilt-free cotton candy? No. No. <laughs> I cannot sticky. picture it with Halls, though. No. And in all honesty, that's, that's something... We are going to have to try. I I'm going to have to do a video about know. that one, and I'm going to have to have a taster. After we have to do lemon. Okay. Okay. Okay, you want to pass me the blue twister? And this one is going to be orange. There we go. Look at that fluff up right away like that. Stick that to the table not, so it doesn't... That's, again, my candy. Now, can you help me, Miss Katie, and just press that down? It's got little suction cups on it, but it's coming off of our... There we go. There we go. Interesting. I'm so glad you guys came to hang out and cook with me. So I'm going to do this on the regular, I think. I'm going to have, you know, friends, family. Uh, I think I'm going to call it Cooking with Auntie Dory. And we're going to do different kinds of, of things. Because I think, you know what, if you want to share something that's new, that's exciting, it's your friends and family you want to do that with, right? Especially when you're starting something that's a new and exciting way of eating. Share it. You want to share it with your friends and with your family. And in all honesty, I've been surprised who's interested in what I'm cooking and what I'm trying. Some of the people that I thought never in a million years would have any interest in, you know, the sugar-free, wheat-free recipes that I'm putting together were. So I, you know, She's hi, honey. Oh, yes. <laughs> we are still taping, just so that you know if you... <laughs> that's that's my honey who's running by doesn't want to be on video but you heard it here first i'm i'm way better at cotton candy than he is he admitted that out loud i have video proof just saying okay so we're gonna turn that one off and let's check out our orange cotton candy it's more white than orange yeah it's an orange flavor <laughs> <laughs> not orange color. Uh, we had this debate in the summer um, with my fiance's daughter. She asked me for orange juice. And so I got the orange flavor squirts and it was orange color, but not orange flavor. So it, it, it was an issue. That's good, that one. I like that one better. Yeah. The orange is really nice. That's better than the pink. Okay. And then we want to try a lime, ladies? Yes. Okay. So while you're trying that orange, I'm going to pop Lemon. in a lime. Lemon? Yeah. Lemon. lemon. Okay, that's, I said lime, I have lemon. I'm smooth like that. <laughs> smooth criminal. And, and again, not everyone can be smooth like that. That takes like practice and, and skill. You, you'll probably develop that somewhere around the time that you're 35. Yeah. Yeah, 35, definitely 35. <laughs> we have to make some more cotton candy after. Yeah, I think we do. I think that every time you guys come to visit, this is going to be your new favorite treat. Yeah. Is, how much uh, the sugar -free cotton how candy. much can we pay the rent? Right? <laughs> it's literally under $40 to go pick one up at Walmart. I saw the jelly bean one on walmart.ca, so the Canadian Walmart online, for I think it was $29.95 for it. And it's basically exactly the same machine. It's just jelly bean candy brand. I have a, I have a snow cone. Ooh. Jelly belly. Oh yeah, there's things you could do with snow cones. Oh, sure. I never use them. I bet there is something I could do with snow cones. You can, you can blow it because mm -hmm. I, I don't ever use it. Nice. I have created a sugar-free uh, keto ice cream recipe that I use so to make cool. ice cream sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, diet ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, I said that out loud. Now I'm gonna have to make a video about that one. I'm on it. <laughs> my my favorite summer snack. And I totally discovered that one by accident. Um, when Diana was here, I was trying to make for her a nut-free, similar to Nutella spread, but minus the nuts, so just a chocolate spread, to go to day program. Because, you know, nut-free and school programs, you can't send any of the nut stuff. And I came across a recipe, and it called for... Oh, it's colorful because of the, the like paint. Like unicorn. Like unicorn, that's right. Okay, you pull that one off there, give it a taste, tell people what you think. 
And uh, so the recipe I came across called for just coconut milk, chocolate and sweetener, cocoa and sweetener, and you whip it up and chill it, which I liked. I thought it was really yummy. Um, Diana did not care for it. And being that I don't spread things on a lot of, I don't eat a lot of breads or muffins or anything, I didn't want to waste it. So I added heavy whipping cream and froze it for ice cream and it turned out awesome. Mm. Okay, do we want to do one lime before we shut the video down and see what the lime tastes like? Sure. The lemon is and then, delicious. And then once the video's done, we have to make coffee ones. Okay, we'll totally make the coffee for ones for again. you guys. For, for us guys, because <laughs> coffee is for 18 over, possibly 19, you heard it first. Katie's the boss. <laughs> so when we're done doing this lime candy, we are going to check and see if our gummy bears are ready. At can least I enough to twirling? pop them out. Yeah, you can totally try twirling. So the twirl. Yeah. What you're gonna do is you want to take the stick in, and as it starts, you want to turn around the base, like one quick swoop around until you get some caught on your stick. Oh, hang on. Let's go this direction, this way, and you want to just get a little caught on your stick. See, now that you've got it on your stick, turn your hands this way so you can just roll. It's like a spider web. So you want to just roll it, and you see how it heats and kind of comes up like a web. So what you want to do is you want to just roll that web, and that's perfect. So roll just a it's little moving. faster because it's melting. Yeah, I'm just going to squish that down again. Yay! Oh, that one's even a pretty green, actually. Okay, so I'm going to get you roll just a little faster because you're going to get caught on there and it's going to melt. Oh, here, just one second. Let's just whoop. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That's yeah, a good this Christmas one's pretty one. green. Oh. Christmas, Christmas with this one? The red and the green in a little bowl the together. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. And then make them in like little sections and then it would be like Christmassy. That is such a good idea. Okay, so let's turn this off. I'm going to let you guys taste this one. I'm going to wash my hands. And, and then we're going to check on those gummy bears and see if they're ready. And it is warm. It's kind of, it's not hot when you take it. Now, the extra special treat that I usually save for Al is at the end, now that we've got all the different flavors in there, I'm going to show you something awesome. Oh, I think the lime is my favorite. That's and you guys? Good. Yeah, I think the lime is it. I okay. like the orange one. No. I think that was my favorite. This part is just the little part, but it's going to have a swirl of all of the flavors together in it. Blow your mind, Katie. Right. Got all the swirlies. It looks it's like, like a, a little, question mark. Looks like a little unicorn, right? That Unicorn piece vomit. will have the swirls of all of Ooh. the flavors that we made together today. So it gives you just, oh. you can taste all the layers and it's like a fruit. And it'll have a caramel back to it. It does. Mm. So that's always the treat at the very end. 